you say that the the subconscious can affect gene or genetic expression. Mm -hmm. Can you explain that a little bit? I mean, you're talking about color of eyes and and hair color and all of those things that determine our outward appearance as well. It's an awesome question. It's an awesome question. Um, when we're talking about the subconscious mind and genetic potential, um, m many people, especially in in today's day and age, where you know there's the whole genome project where mm -hmm. we've mapped out the genes, you know, and we know that for this chromosome there's this disease and that chromosome that that's disease, right. that people today have genetic types of testing and as a result, An Angelina Jolie just had genetic testing and as a result, without any symptoms of breast cancer whatsoever, go through bilateral radical mastectomies. Mm -hmm. That people look at their DNA as the end all be all, that that is the brain of the cell, and if you know if you have that genetic programming, then that's who you are, and that's what's going to happen. And there's a gentleman whose name is Dr. Bruce Lipton, and Dr. Bruce Lipton, who's a cellular biologist, uh, questioned uh, that genetic predetermina predetermination mm -hmm. that this is if you got these genes, this is what's going to happen. Um, and Dr. Lipton found that, well, he, he, just let me just set the premise up. Dr. Lipton thought, well, if DNA really is the brain of a cell and that we are subconsciously programmed on a genetic level to just, this is what it's going to be, mm -hmm. then if I took out the nucleus that holds the DNA um, of the cell, if I took out that nucleus, that that cell would instantly die. And so he did that. He, you know, pulled out that, uh, that nucleus and the cell didn't instantly die. So what he did is he started to um, take one part of the cell off at a time until he found that part that allowed, that caused the cell to die instantly. And that part of the cell was called the protein receptor. And if we think about what a protein receptor, it's, it's called a sensory protein receptor. That protein receptor allows us to perceive our environment and then as a result of what we're perceiving in the environment, send a signal into the nucleus where the DNA is so that our DNA can produce cells that adapt to what we're perceiving. Now the challenge here is that we don't perceive truth. We perceive what we believe. And our beliefs, whatever your belief is in any aspect of life, every belief is taught. I mean, just because you're taught something yeah. doesn't make it true. Sure. So as the question now, to go full circle, you know, what role does the subconscious mind play in you know, in our genetics, um, everything, everything. But the key is how we're perceiving something. If we can begin to, if we can begin to look at something rather than as a finality, rather than as, you know, this is just, I've got bad genes mm -hmm. or whatever it might be, you can actually, um, by understanding the subconscious mind, the lifeline, reprogram your subconscious mind and increase the fullest potential of your genes. You know, can that change a person's eyes from blue to brown? You know, I don't know. I've worked with people that have been diagnosed with multiple personality disorder, dissociative disorder, mm -hmm. and right in front of me I've seen somebody's eyes go from blue to brown. Because when they shift from personality to personality, one personality has a whole different physiology and a mindset than another personality. And so when we begin to understand that on a mind, right, it's wild. Yeah. When we begin to understand that, like, well, the reason that the mind associates in that way is because it had to for protective reasons. Well, the subconscious mind is the protective mind. It's the reactive mind. And so when we realize that that protection sometimes in significant trauma, whether it be somebody at war or somebody being severely abused, you know, creates that, can there be a reprogramming in a way where it uh, affects the color of somebody's hair or the color of somebody's eyes? Uh, in my awareness of what I just said, yeah, I believe it potentially can, but that's really not even what it's all about. Mm -hmm. To me, more than anything, it's about recognizing in our world of a brave new world, Aldous Huxley, brave new world, where it's just like, you know, we are putting our faith into uh, a scientific 
realm that is only able to perceive what they perceive, and then they work only on what they perceive, they're working with the conscious realm. That's the 2 to 10%. 2 to 10% of our mind is conscious. The other essence of who we are is subconscious. What if we had a way in to work with the subconscious mind while having the brilliance of science? Because the science is brilliant. Mm -hmm. Science of today is just amazing. What if you could also enhance the fullest potential of the subconscious mind to influence our body's fullest potential for healing, our mind's fullest potential of what's possible, and bridge that science and spirit in a way. I mean, that's really, in, in my heart, where, where we're going. Mm -hmm. right now.